I can't move my arm! <laughs> when it comes to spreading illness and disease, even life-threatening ones, these small bugs are nearly perfect vectors. Don't judge a book by its cover, right? Just don't judge them despite their size and appearance. Here are the 10 most dangerous bugs you should avoid to save your life. Number 10. Tsetse Fly These strange and dangerous insects, which give birth to their larvae one at a time and feed them milk, are found in tropical Africa. The flies are the carriers of the illness Nagana, also known as African Animal Trypanosomiasis, AAT, which affects both wild and domestic animals as well as humans. One of the most severe illnesses to affect people, sleeping sickness, is brought on by the tsetse fly. The fly can spread parasites that are parasiticing its host or parasites that it has acquired from an infected host. Tsetse fly bites are often painful and can result in chancre, which are red sores. The most typical signs of sleeping sickness includes fever, extremely painful headaches, irritability, severe fatigue, swollen lymph nodes and sore muscles and joints. Some individuals get skin rash. Number 9. Kissing Bugs What a cute name, a kissing bug. However, the name is misleading. It is a blood-sucking parasite that is drawn to its feeding sites by breath. If you breathe through your mouth, you are a target. This bug is common in the Americas and can transmit Chagas disease, a parasitic disease that causes a series of symptoms that can worsen over time. When insects bite, such as mosquitoes, they are neat. The kissing bug, on the other hand, is not, which adds to its gruesomeness. This insect has 130 species, and a few of them are responsible for the spread of Chagas disease. Symptoms begin with fever and swelling and can progress to heart failure, esophageal enlargement, or colon enlargement. Chagas disease is a particularly dangerous disease because it does not cause life-threatening symptoms until 10 to 30 years after the person is bitten. Number 8. Stinging Saddleback Caterpillar If you're a gardener, you may have come across a saddleback caterpillar. This insect is mostly brown and green with a saddle stripe mark on its back. While most caterpillars are harmless and superficial spines on their bodies, the saddleback caterpillar has stinging spikes. These hairs are primarily for self-defense and can prick the skin and release poison if anyone touches the saddleback caterpillar. Typically, a homeowner doing outdoor gardening will encounter a saddleback caterpillar and be stung by their hairs while picking up leaves. Saddleback caterpillars are dangerous because a single touch of one of their spines will result in a powerful sting stronger than that of a bee or wasp sting and in many cases will result in severe allergic reactions requiring professional medical attention. If these stinging caterpillars have become a nuisance in and around your home, try your best to destroy them. Number 7. Pus Caterpillars They may appear cute and cuddly, but they are one of the most venomous creatures in the United States. Yes, you heard it right. This moth, also known as the Southern Flannel Moth, or pussy moth, is covered in fur, which conceals its many venomous spines. A prick from one of these spines necessitates immediate medical attention. When a pus moth caterpillar rubs or presses against a person's skin, venomous hairs embed, causing severe burning and a rash. The pain usually goes away after about an hour. Pus caterpillar stings can cause itching, burning, rashes, lesions and swelling in multiple locations on the body. Some of the more serious reactions include chest pain, numbness and difficulty breathing. The pus caterpillar, which is about an inch long, is common in Texas, Florida, New Jersey and Arkansas, as well as other states. The bugs are most common in the fall and spring. Number 6. Scorpions Scorpions, which have a crab-like appearance, are predatory and frequently show up at night. Bark scorpions have a body length of about 2 inches, 5 centimetres. Scorpions have 8 legs, a pair of lobster-like pincers and a curved tail. Scorpions are nocturnal creatures that sting only when provoked or attacked. Scorpions prefer warm, dry environments and are frequently found in deserts. 
When hiking or camping, keep shoes, blankets and towels inside. Scorpion stings are painful, but rarely fatal. Stings can be as minor as a honeybee sting, causing mild swelling or a rash, or they can be more serious. Young children and the elderly are the most vulnerable to serious complications. The stinger in a scorpion's tail causes a scorpion sting. The stinger of the scorpion can release venom when it stings. Number 5. Red Fire Ants This tiny pest is responsible for much misery and death. The red fire ant, which is about half an inch long and was accidentally brought by ship from South America, is a robust type of ant that can sting. Red fire ants are common on golf courses, picnic grounds and playgrounds. Fire ants bites usually happen when someone steps on an area of the ground where the insects live. Stings are most commonly found on the extreme skin of your feet, ankles and legs. When a fire ant bites, its mandibles attach to your skin. Then it curves back and injects venom into your skin with its stinger. It has the ability to sting multiple times at once while moving in a circular motion, sometimes delivering seven or eight stings at a time. If you are playing outdoors, you should wear some creams to avoid them. Number 4. Mosquito Throughout the world, more people are killed by mosquito-borne illnesses than any other factor. The common mosquito is frequently regarded as the most dangerous insect due to its ability to transmit diseases such as West Nile and the more commonly malaria to its victims. This pest kills one million people worldwide each year. The Anopheles mosquito is by far the most deadly of all dangerous insects. The parasite injected from this tiny creature's bite kills and sickens more people than any other insect bite or sting. It's all because the female mosquito, like most female mosquitoes, requires a blood meal to reproduce. Malaria killed 409,000 people in 2019, the majority of whom were children under the age of five. However, malaria isn't the only disease spread by mosquitoes. Chagas disease is another, and dengue fever, West Nile virus, Zika virus, Rift Valley fever, Chikungunya fever, and Yellow fever. Don't forget to keep your area clean to avoid them. Number 3. Blister Beetles What makes such a small insect so dangerous? Despite their small size, they carry life-threatening diseases, and precautions should be taken to avoid large infections. One of the most poisonous insects is the blister beetle. The name blister beetle comes from their defense mechanism. They excrete a toxic body fluid called cantharidin through their leg joints in response to danger. Cantharidin is a colorless, odorless, fatty fluid that is toxic and can cause blisters when it comes into contact with you. That is, it should not be eaten or even touched. Cantharidin causes skin blisters, but when used correctly, it can remove warts. If a person attempts to eat the beetle, the Cantharidin destroys the GI tract lining and can result in death. Because people are unlikely to eat these poisonous insects, the real threat of blister beetles is to farm animals. The beetles are drawn to alfalfa, and if they are ground up in alfalfa hay while it is being prepared, the cantharidin released by even a few blister beetles can be lethal to a horse. Number 2. Lonomia's larvae Lonomia oblique larvae are large and rounded, with tubercles or spines or hairs. These hairs may irritate or sting the skin. The larvae or caterpillar stage correspond with the spring and summer months, which is concerning because it increases the chances of contact with humans. Giant larvae can release anticoagulant toxins through their bristles, causing leukocytosis, anemia, bruising, hematuria, hematoma, vomiting, nausea, headaches, a burning sensation at the site, swelling, redness and pain if they come into contact with the skin. Lonomia oblique poisoning has only recently been studied and more surprising findings have emerged. Researchers believe that the venom released by Lonomia oblique larvae damages the blood-brain barrier based on experimental findings. Renal failure has been reported as well. 
So if you ever encounter them in your wild journey, ignore them at all costs. Number one, black widow spider. The most venomous spider in North America is the black widow. Their venom is approximately 15 times stronger than rattlesnake venom and uses a chemical known as alpha latrotoxin to overwhelm nerve cells and cause intense pain. When alpha latrotoxin enters a nerve cell, it releases all of its signaling chemicals at once, overwhelming its neighbors. A bite can cause swelling around the wound, severe cramping, sweating and chills in addition to pain. However, because spiders are much smaller than snakes and do not release a large amount of venom at once, Black Widow bites are only dangerous to young children and the elderly. Every year, approximately 2,500 people visit poison control centers with Black Widow bites in order to reduce the symptoms of anti-venom. The first anti-venom for Black Widow bites was developed in the 1930s. These antibodies neutralize venom by signaling the immune system to destroy the pain-causing chemicals. Have you come across any of them in your life? If yes, don't forget to share your remedies with us. If not, consider yourself lucky. Thanks for watching.